Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anne-Marie and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK. So today I'm going to make this simple gatefold card for you. And I'm going to be using the Beautiful World bundle. And if you order this bundle from Stampin' Up you can get a 10% discount. So you get the Beautiful World stamps on the right there and also the lovely die set to go along. Uh, the stamps are red rubber and they give a beautiful image when stamped. So here's a quick look at the annual catalogue where you can find this suite on page 24 and um, you can order the whole suite um, which I did this time. I'm going to use the designer series paper, it's speciality paper, it's got some beautiful foiling detail on it. So make the base card, I'm taking a piece of A4 cardstock in soft suede and I'm going to cut this at five and seven eighths and it'll be by eight and a quarter. So this is just a standard base we use here in the UK. Um, for making the gates themselves I'm going to use my stamping trimmer and I'm going to score using the second blade, the lighter one, so move the cutting blade out of the way um, and then use the scoring blade at two and one sixteenth. Run it a couple of times there just to make sure you've got a good score. And then flip the card around and do a second gate from the other side at two and sixteenths. Then these should fold together nicely. I'll use my uh, bone folder here just to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease and I tend to fold my creases away from the ridge. These broke the back of the card there and just burnish them so they're nice and crisp and meet beautifully in the middle. So I'm going to put an insert inside this card as it's a dark piece of cardstock that I've used as the base. Um, I'm using very vanilla and it's pre-cut to five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I keep a little stash of these in very vanilla and whisper white. So my front panels are gonna be in this beautiful DSP, which is the World of Good Speciality Papers. Fabulous colors here and it does incorporate a lot of the new in colors, like the misty moonlight you see at the front, particularly fond of. As you see, I keep mine in this little plastic cellophane envelope um, for traveling around. So I, have a, I cut them up when they arrive into these little pre-cut pieces and they're ready for a, to fit any card. The fabulous thing about this designer series paper is you get two patterns for the price of one because it's double-sided. Even though I love the misty moonlight blue here, I'm going to use the very earthy tones on the back, which is this sort of grid and map pattern here. So bringing back in my trimmer and I'm going to cut my DSP front panels for the card. They're going to be long narrower strips, they'll be 5 and 5 eighths in length by 1 and 15 sixteenths in width. So now I'm going to adhere my two DSP panels to the front of my cardstock. I like the liquid Tombow glue for this, so it's going to give me that little bit of wiggle room. I'm just lining the two panels up to make sure I've got them the right way round and the design matches when the card is closed. So I'm taking it right up to the edge here and leaving the border around three sides of the panel so I don't have a big gap in the middle when I close my card up. So I was always told you need to decorate the inside of your card as well. So this is the very vanilla insert that's going inside the card and I'm just popping on there the little feather which I've stamped off so it's not as bright as it could be. 
and then I'm going to go full strength with the early espresso sentiment and that way it will lie just over the feather um, but you can still see both the images quite clearly. Just stamping my focal image in soft suede and this again on very vanilla cardstock, one of the scraps that I've got and then I'm going to cut this image out. I've cut a few more elements out to go on the front of the card. Um, I'll take my scrap selection, which I keep in this folder for in colour families, and I've got some early espresso. I'm going to cut a two inch stitched circle of that um, to mount the globe onto. So here I have some beautiful brushed metallic cardstock. This is now available in our new August to December 2020 mini catalogue. You can see here in the quick index, it found on page 45. And there's a quick snap of the front of the catalogue for you. Able to order from now, so if you are interested, please get in contact and you can order all of these products from my online shop. So I've gone for one of the brighter shades of cardstock there which I'm going to cut a circle out to mount the globe onto and that is going to be a stitch circle two and a half inches and then I took the darker brass to cut out um, a mount for the globe to sit into. So continuing decorating the card I wanted to add a little bit of interest to the inside as the gates are a feature of this card. I've used the compass stamp from the stamp set in the same colour as the card stock, so tone on tone just to give a bit more interest. Now just gluing down my insert with Tombow glue. I love this glue, I've said it many a time, it's got a little bit of wiggle room so if you do make a little mistake you can just adjust it if you do it quickly enough. However, I didn't notice I had a bit of ink on my hand, so I've managed to smudge in the corner there, so I'm adding a few extra images just to try and cover it but sadly as I was printing over two levels of cardstock you've got the little line on the print there so not as nice as I would have liked that to have been. I'm just adhering the front elements to the card so I'm taking the cut out globe and adding it onto the circle of early espresso and then I'll adhere that to the brushed metallic circle it's got a nice stitched edge to it, again, just to give a bit of interest. So I'm just positioning the elements on the front of the card and I want to make sure that the globe is in the center. So in order for it to stay, I'm just trying to hold it with one side of the gatefold in position. I'm going to add the glue to the exposed side and then close the card back on itself so it should press down and, and pick up the circle, which it does quite nicely. Now gluing on the stand, okay, just positioning that. We do sell a fine tip glue, which I <laughs> I'm definitely going to get some because it's got a little bit messy, but you've got to remember just to glue onto one side of the base of the stand so you don't glue your card shut. So there it is, a very simple gatefold card. I'm really quite pleased with the colours, it's quite a masculine look, um, which I don't do too many masculine cards and I think the gold, the foiling there just really highlights it beautifully. So two quick and easy gatefold cards there for you. If you've enjoyed the video, please put a like and if you want to subscribe and hit the bell notification, you'll be updated whenever I make a new video. Um, if you want to purchase anything, please feel free to go to my online shop at thecaravancrafter.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you again soon.